Oh, do I have a special video for you today. I am gonna be telling you exactly how to look for and recognize very high probability long-term swing trades. Whether you're trading the crypto market, the stock market, the Forex market, I'm gonna be telling you exactly what you need to be doing, how to remain patient for these high probability trades, how to execute and take the trade, not get fearful and scared as price drops down to our entry trigger, and then how to manage this trade into the future as we start to rack up profits in front of our eyes, but remain calm, collected, and sticking to the plan. I truly feel I can share a lot of insights and knowledge with you in this video, so I truly wanna help you, and I'll do that, I just ask for one thing, and that is that you pay attention. If you need to, write some notes down alongside me, and um, you know, just, just let me help you in this video. Please take it seriously. I am gonna be giving you a very high level, you know, really professional analysis, and you know, I'm gonna try and keep it simple at the same time so you understand, but also make it worthwhile. So you come out at the end of this video saying, wow, this has been a very good use of time, and you know, hopefully you know, inspire you and show you what you can be doing. I'm gonna be going over a trade that's still in progress, still in the trade, and uh, so you know, I really find, think you're gonna find it not only interesting, but very beneficial. Um, so that's enough talking, let's get into what you're here for, and that is some analysis. And as mentioned, I know the vast majority of my viewership is, of course, cryptocurrency, are primarily Bitcoin traders, right? But whether you're a low cap altcoin trader, whether you just love to day trade and scalp trade Bitcoin, as, as I do, um, I'm going to be using though today NVIDIA as an example. NVIDIA, if, if, you've, if you've been around here for the years, you'll know NVIDIA is a, <laughs> a stock I hold very close to my heart. I've been, been buying this more of accumulation, like buying for long term since $3.00. Uh, here we are at, uh, you know, $267, you know, I've made uh, almost, you know, 10,000% profits from original buys on this. So what can I say? I, I recognize and I love this coin, coin. I, this stock. I've been trading it a very long time indeed. And uh, today I want to share some insights of how we are uh, managing these trades and, you know, how to look for the next best opportunity. And so, yeah, let's get stuck into this video. Hope you enjoy. Um, so, yeah. Starting here on NVIDIA, whether you don't trade NVIDIA, it doesn't matter. Listen to the education, the theory, because this is interchangeable across all markets. So you can use the exact theory that I'll be teaching you today uh, on cryptocurrency, on Forex. It doesn't matter. X, Y, Z, coin. Here we are. We're going to look at NVIDIA, and this is all interchangeable across the market. So first of all, okay, something that I want you to write down on a notepad in front of you, and that will be the importance of patience and recognizing high probability trades. Uh, so this was actually a trade setup for the long on NVIDIA that I recognized back in August uh, last year. You know, we're, we're talking a very long time ago now. And at the time, you know, we're still trading around $170. But you can see I recognize a long opportunity down and around, let's say this zone of around $120. Okay, down and around here, I've got a very nice high probability long trade setup. Okay, so during this uh, live stream for the champions, I explained we do have a short trade here, uh, which would be only taken for bringing it down to the long trade. Between the two, this long trade is far more far more appealing. This is our very high probability zone. This is the trade that we're really after. And okay, so what makes a high probability trade? Well, you can see all the confluence that we have here. If you watch this video, if you were a champion member, you know, I also done an Elliott wave count on this. So we had Elliott waves, we had uh, value areas, we had Fibonacci extensions, we had monthly level, and we had three different Fibonacci pivot points. So we're talking about high, high levels of confluence. Okay, so confluence is key to finding high probability trade setups. On top of that, it's also been very patient. Here we can actually see a rise from around $140 to $193. This is a substantial percentage increase in price. What many people would be doing at this point is FOMOing into long trades, you know, thinking, oh, I've missed the bottom on NVIDIA. Oh my God, uh, this, you know, I need to get into this asset now. You know, they're, they're FOMOing in on a very, you know, this this is a large bounce to the upside. This is a daily term time frame, so it doesn't look too big. This is a large percentage increase. See a bit of consolidation going on. You know, this is where people are FOMOing in. But my analysis is simple. You know, I'm waiting for lower prices. So the next thing I want you to write down is if you miss a trade, 
because you've waited for a high probability trade setup that never came to fruition, it's fine. You do not lose money if you do not take a trade. So waiting for high probability trade setups, you will occasionally miss a trade, but that's fine. You miss that trade, move on to the next setup and opportunity that you find. So I had recognized my opportunity down here around $120, the exact entry price that you can see that I've put in on this long trade that I've shared with my team. That is around $114.35, with the overall target here coming around $270.14. So over 100% rise to the upside. But, of course, at this moment in time, I've still got to wait for a very large decrease. Might not happen, but I'm going to sure as hell be waiting for it, uh, because that for me is a very high probability zone. And when I recognize high probability zones, well, price almost has this magnet, pulls it down to that. Capture the liquidity, also a major factor of this trade, um, before I am executing a long trade. Okay, a coin, once again, a stock that I know very well indeed. You know, I've been trading this for a long time, since $3, uh, trading up, up over $300, right? Very, very massive uh, percentage gains on this one. And um, yeah, basically this, this you, you can probably guess it, <laughs> along with the majority of my analysis, played out very well indeed. And it did come down to our entry around $114, as we can see, if this is a post from the Discord, uh, another champion's post. You know, as I gave this long trade setup way before it was hit, we've already up 40% since that entry. So from the prediction, looking for a down and around that $114 entry point, we actually came down to the $114 entry point exactly. Little wick down below, and we started to get this lovely bounce underway. Currently at the time, 40% increase in price. Uh, Telling my team, well, we've done pretty well here, already up 40%, right? So, <clears throat> lovely. What we're then explaining next is moving on to the next step. So, you, you first of all, point number one, you know, you're, you're recognizing high probability trading setups. You've got to have the patience to come down. If you miss the trade, so be it. In this case, if we didn't miss it, come down perfectly to our entry. We've got the trigger, we've taken the trade, okay? When it's down here, we're not fearful, we're not scared. We're not emotional, waiting for lower, expecting lower. No, we had our plan. So let's stick to the plan and take the trade when it hits our entry, right? The worst thing that can happen is we get stopped out and we're wrong. But after seeing the bounce, we can move the stop loss up, really. And we've got this high focus target of 270. You know, this is our another 100% gains to the upside, right? So, um, you know, at this moment in time, few areas of interest that we can be aware of, uh, of resistance locally. But... Our analysis here is we've come down to major support, lovely bounce, bit of a failed auction, through the gap, reclaim of the monthly. There is no reason that we wouldn't be looking for our higher target to be hit. Okay, so at this point, you do have to remain patient. Okay, you are going to see green numbers floating in your eyes of ching, 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 profits, profits, profits. What you don't want to be doing is a mistake that a lot of traders will make. They will take profits too early. Okay, they might take too many short positions trying to hedge themselves on the way back up. The majority of people will um, be on the first one of, of taking too much profits too early or, or alternatively miss the trade because they got too scared to take the entry or not take profits at all and see massive wins turn to massive losses. That's another common mistake people make of just never actually locking in profits when they see them. So you don't want to be taking them too early. You don't want to be never taking them at all. You want that nice middle ground. And how do you get that nice middle ground? Well, it really helps from having that plan. So you have preset, you know, your ideas and levels of those major take profits. So of course, an acceptable one at the time here on NVIDIA would have been the local CC and the gap fill. These are two local, uh, more local levels, which would have continued lower lows and lower highs. But this is where you then need to do expectational management of percentage profits, okay? You're looking for like 100 you know, percent gains to the upside. You don't wanna be taking you know, 99% of profit at your first take profit. No, we can be looking to lock in maybe 10 to 20% profits, moving to stop up with our major take profits still back up at our you know, major level of resistance, right? Um, so take profit percentages is a, a, a must needed skill uh, that you can learn, of course, this is all learnable of how to manage uh, trade percentage, take profits once you're in the trade. And what we can see from that, continuing on, continuing on, here we are in March, 2023, and I update the team, 140% profit, just like that. Hope some of you made mad gains with me off of this in video call, because from start to where we are now, that was uh, some pretty mad gains if you 
followed the plan, executed at entry, and from $114 entry to $270 take profit, we can see how he nailed the entry, now that take profit up at a high. So, you know, so this is beneficial to you and your understanding. How do you recognize high probability swing trade setups? You gotta wait for a lot of confluence and generally you're gonna be waiting for lower prices to come. You're not gonna be looking to long at current prices. Okay, you're gonna be waiting for retracements. Okay, you're not, lock it, you're not longing after a high move to the upside. You're waiting for retracements onto high probability trading confluence zones and it's lovely if you can grab some liquidity. Once you've got that entry, you're not getting scared. Why? Because you're following the plan that you've laid out months in advance. Months in advance, you've got that plan laid out. You're not going to be scared when it comes to your entry. Or if you are, then you still need to focus on, you know, your journey and your education and, and overcoming that fear, which I understand a lot of people do have that fear and it does take time. So, you know, that's why you could say training alongside me, someone that does have confidence, someone that does know what they're doing, someone that has been doing this <laughs> a long time, you know, almost 13 years now. You know, I can inspire that confidence and, and you know, or at the end of the day, you could just kind of look at what I'm doing. <laughs> you could have followed this, I suppose. But, um, you know, you're going to gain that confidence with time. And then it's once you've got the trade entry, it's not getting ultra greedy and never taking profits, right? Uh, it's locking in that first take percentage profit, okay? You can actually see how here was the gap, okay? You see how we started to move up. We did put in a bit of a lower high. We put, put come back down, tested the gap here, okay? You can see there was a gap made here. So then we've filled this gap, left the gap here filled that and then we've got a lightning speed increase to the upside which really gives us very nice wave one two three okay so we've moved up one two moving up for the third up and around this high zone as mentioned i've not fully closed this yet because i still believe that we can get a four and a five in here for another increase in price but as i mentioned i would be very bad if i wasn't to do any take profits here so just like back on your first increase in price. This is a nice percentage take profit of 10 to 20%. This is a very nice extra, you know, now on top of this, locking in another around 25 to 50%, because this is now coming into major target zones, okay? And from here, I would wait, you know, a little bit of patience to see if we get a market structure change, or if we come up and actually take these highs around 290. If we get through that, then of course, we can be looking up for new all-time highs. So, you know, the key steps, as I mentioned at the start of this video, I was going to tell you how to get into high probability trading setups. It's patience waiting for lower prices onto high levels of confluence with great levels of liquidity. Okay, once you've got that liquidity tapped, you take the trade entry. You're not going to be scared because you're following the plan. Once you're in that trade, you've already got your pre-set take profits. You know, you should have thought about your take profit levels before you take the trade. You know, I'm um, not taking this trade here, $114, and not knowing where my take profits. Now, we've also planned in the take profits. So we're not going to take too much profits too quickly or not enough profit at all, you know, not taking any profits and seeing a nice rise turn to a loss. Now, it's all part of the plan, understanding our take profits based off the trade setup that we've had. Of course, this is a multi-month long trade setup. So, of course, this naturally falls under a swing trade setup. Okay, and now when it comes into that target, of target is hit, I'm not closing down the trade fully because I recognize there's still potential for this to run more. But I'm not going to not take any profits at my major target because then I would have not been following my plan. This is a high level of confluence, although I do think we can still push up higher, to be fair with you. So that is how I wanted to educate you today, explain and tell you how to understand high probability trading setups, how to get into that trade and wait for targets, how we can manage to take profits along the way, not get greedy, not get scared, but remain focused on targets and plans. Okay, I will say if this for you all watching, if you want to see trading setups like this, of course, this was given you know months in advance before levels are hit. If you want this sort of trading setups, if you want the education, so you educate you on take profits, stop losses, understanding confluence, if you want to learn Elliott waves, if you want to learn about the volume, the higher term time frame levels, you've got all that, of course, under our courses, from beginner to master level courses, studying the Elliott waves, right? You've got all the course, all the education, inbuilt journals to also have that preset. You know, if you're struggling, how can I work out my plan? How can I record my plans? We've got a journal built for you on the website. You can record those trades, okay? Your entries, your take profits, your percentages. All of that is in the journal that we've built for you on the website. We truly are trying to 
build something here that's special, unique, and really beneficial for you. So whether you want the education, whether you want the journal, whether you want the glossary and the cheat sheets, right? All of that is available on our website of chartchampions.com. Well, and if you want, of course, the actual trade setups alongside it, as long as the walkthrough inside of the Discord, right? This is all on chartchampions.com for the champions and the contenders um, getting access to the education and the champions gaining access to like the more of the cool type trades, right? Our focus though is not calls, not signals, it is education. We want to help you get up to that next level of your trading career. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please let me know down below with a simple comment on a like. Let me know if you like this. Of course, Bitcoin has recently come up and hit our naked point of control. It's come up and hit the top of our triangle and getting a local pullback here too. Uh, so if you want to you know, if you want to, me to talk about Bitcoin and this local decrease in price, well, I'm, of course, always more than happy to do that. If you don't want to wait for the next YouTube video where you can learn exactly what I talked about on Bitcoin today, right now, before making this video from the Discord inside of my trading channel, I've done bit, up Bitcoin updates today. So if you don't want to wait around, chartchampions.com. Cheers, everybody. Thank you. And I'll catch you in the next one. That's me signing out. Thank you and goodbye. Cheers, everybody.